So why do we have to wear masks? Well, it, you know, they're uncomfortable, they get in the way, uh, it's kind of hard to see what, you know, what people are saying and all those other things. And it's, it's pretty simple though. You're wearing a mask to protect other people. Um, you might be sick and you might know it. And as you're walking around and talking and doing, just breathing, uh, you could be spraying out, um, you know, coronavirus or whatever, any virus actually, or any bacteria. Um, and if you're wearing a mask, all that crud is going to get stuck inside the mask. And you already got the ick, so it's not like it's going to get any worse because it's stuck in your mask. Um, but now you're not spreading it everywhere. Uh, and that's, that's good. So if you... If you're wearing a mask and someone else is wearing a mask and you both come in close proximity and you're, you, one of you is sick, the likelihood of the disease spreading from them to you or you to them is lower. So it stops the transmission of the disease. It's a, it's a good way to minimize risk in addition to social distancing and everything else. Obviously, it's not as good as an N95 mask, but those are in short supply. And really, the only people who need need that are healthcare workers. Everyone else, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, which is staying six feet from people, not going into crowded social environments, um, the mask is all you need. It's going to keep you safe. Well, not you know washing your hands, hand sanitizing, not touching your face, not picking your nose and whatever. Um, if you're doing all those things, this is enough. You don't need to have you know uh, you don't need to have a crazy medical grade mask to get by right now um but the key feature in this is that you gotta wear a mask and everyone else has got to wear a mask because that's what protects us um it's it's this herd immunity thing where if we all do the thing we're supposed to do that keeps the virus from, from spreading the virus is going to die out it's not going to be able to get from one sick person to another healthy person it's just going to stay with that sick person and hopefully they fight it off and they get better and if it hasn't had a chance to jump from that person to another person it dies with them. Um, this is uh, this is a little bit like if there was an outbreak of vampirism, right? If vampires were real and they're running around and biting people, um, and you know you had like a neck guard you could wear uh, that could. Uh, um, well, actually, this is a little bit different. Uh, <laughs> so this would be more like if there was an outbreak of vampirism, and we're like, hey guys. Um, you may not know you're a vampire, but you're going to walk by somebody and you're going to get the blood rage and you're going to bite them. So what we want everyone to do is wear mouth guards so that if the blood rage overtakes you, you won't be able to bite other people. Um, and, you know, we get it. You're not, it's not your fault you're a vampire. You, you caught the vampirism from somebody else. Um, but just wear the mouth guard so that if you accidentally bite somebody, nobody is going to die. Um, it doesn't necessarily protect you by wearing the mouth guard, but it definitely protects the the uh, um, everyone else around you. So this is your this is your anti killing everyone around you mask. It's like a reverse bulletproof vest. It's keeping everyone else in the community safe. And again, the coronavirus it is actually killing you know a decent number of people under the age of 65. But it's it's killing grandpa. It's killing grandma. It's killing your dad and your mom. It's killing you know the people who are most vulnerable. And anything we can do. To, 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 to protect them, and it's that's not that inconvenient, should be something we should be wanting to do. Um, this is how you get back to work. This is how you get back to opening stores and restaurants and all those other things. Well, maybe not restaurants because you can't really wear this what you eat, but um, this is how we get back to that. And if you're not willing to just do the simple thing of putting a mask on, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, suck it up, snowflake. Jesus, it's just a mask. You put the mask on, you go outside, you wash your hands, and you're going to help other people. And it, it doesn't take much for you to do that. So just freaking do it. Just suck it up for a little bit. Wear the mask. Wear it properly. Have it up over your nose, over your whole mouth. And we're going to get through this crap. And we're going to be done with it. And we can go on with our lives. But if as long as we're, you know, being like, oh, I don't want to wear a mask, y you sound like a person who doesn't want to wear a condom. Like, it's like, oh, okay, well, thanks, dude. I'm glad you want to spread your herpes and your gonorrhea syphilitis to everybody. Just put it on, suck it up. We're going to get through this, but let's get through it together and try to keep as many people alive as possible.